today there is something that i want to journey with you that i want you to give me your attention and you can also drop your comment you can also drop your suggestion at the comment section and then i'll i will read and then we will iron things out there are a lot of things bad and as a young person when i look at it i'm so sad i'm so sad when i look at how our forefathers started the fights that they fight and now where we find ourselves i ask myself so what's the difference between black person and then what's the difference between white person the definition of leader or the definition of leadership is it the same as is it the same thing that goes to an african man or is it the same thing that goes to the foreign person is that dif- different definition for african and then is there a different definition for foreigners or white person if the definition of leadership is the same then what is wrong with african leaders today why is it that the selfish interest is more than everything that you can find in african leader no accountability no one everyone do what he or she likes and it's like to whom you know oh if i know this person there i can find my way if i know this person i can do a b and c so there is a saying in african that oh one so if i have a shield if i have somebody who can help me step on people then i will use that channel and then step on people i will never use the right channel to whom you know where other countries say that no 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 we are not different we understand the meaning of leadership that when you are leader you are not supposed to be upon the people's neck you are to serve the people so if you don't serve the people well then the law will come after you so when you look at what happened in america the former president when he loses his seat, they send him to court that there are some few things that you did for the people of the country that we think that it didn't go on well so look we are we, we are sending you to court and then you see he was guilty on some few things come to my country ghana over our dead body that you will send even a a, a, a a president a former president to court for the few things that he didn't do right because we call this one in africa scratch my back make a scratch your back so there are things i will not do right so when when i uh, when when i step off or when when i serve my term as a leader and then i leave the seat right you make sure you you scratch my back so when you also leave the seat someone can also scratch your back so they are playing tricks with our minds with our integrity so i ask myself what is wrong with african leaders they know the right thing to do but they will never do it why we have allowed it it's because we do not understand the meaning of leadership so we think that they are doing us favor no they are not doing us favor you see the money the luxury that they are enjoying it is you and i our money because all of us cannot be a leader right that is why we appoint someone to be a leader to lead us and appointing that person to be a leader that doesn't mean that the person take decision on its own the person come to us negotiate with us what do you think we should do to help our community our country then they will oh oh he will hear from us a b and c that you need to do right then they put it together then they take those decisions but that is not what that is not what is happening in africa now few countries 
are learning the principle of life that a leader should not be too bossy on the people and their country now is developing but still other country believe that when you are a leader you are the boss you are the supreme over the people so you can do anything you like you can say anything that you like you can do whatever you like you in fact you can even ask everybody to sleep when they don't want to sleep that is their definition of leadership now what is the meaning of leadership what is the definition of leadership leadership is ability to inspire underline this word for me inspire leadership is the ability to inspire influence understand influence and to guide individuals or team toward a common goal and vision it is individual setting decisions making decisions and taking responsibility for actions and outcome of a group or organization this is the meaning of leadership and we will do comparison Mm. leadership is the ability to inspire and align inspire influence and guide individual or themes toward common goal and vision the leaders you have in africa is that what they do this meaning do they qualify to be in the definition of leadership or they are on their own so in in africa where i come from because something Ghanaians have short memory so in fact when you give them what you have to give them today they will forget about it so oh just leave them let them struggle just leave them let things be so hard leave them let things be so difficult last minute you do some few things now they will fall for your tricks and then give you another opportunity to lead them again that is what is going on they understand what we mean vision they understand what we call influence they do not understand what you call inspire they will never inspire you so they will inspire you last minute when another person come look at the whole thing the whole Bra, bra, bra thing that they they did and then you feel like oh no 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 there are a lot of things that when we allow it for a very long time is going to uh, is going to harm the government so we are cutting all those things off then you come back to class one again then you'll be complaining so they they'll always do last minute temperate thing for you they'll always do last minute temperate thing for you now look let's let's look at what nca is saying NCA says that um, data, they are going to reduce data, right? Before uh, 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 ending of 2024, this year, they are going to reduce data. You see the tricks that they always play. The tricks that they always play. Hmm. When you look at other countries, hmm, things are not so expensive like Ghana now ghana everything is so expensive even the clothes that you wear is very expensive because look people are complaining that oh data is too expensive when you compare us to other countries our data is too expensive so you need to do something about it now year one year two year three getting to the fourth year ending a certain government now you come and then tell us that you are going to do what reduce what data oh my god what have our leaders tend to now the overcharging over billing that you've charged me for four years for five years for six years are you going to pay that money back to me because it is not lawful for you to do that for overburdening me it is not lawful so who is accounting for what so you see everybody wake up and then do whatever that he likes because there is no proper leader there is no leader who is inspiring you there is no leader who is motivating you so they do not even understand your 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 common goals 
they do not even understand what you call goal or vision and i want you to underline this word for me vision inspire influence and also responsibility do your leaders take responsible of their actions or they push it to one or the other i've never seen mm, mm, i've never seen any leader in africa that accepts responsibility of their actions they will push it to one person or the other yes we understand there was a government who was not who wasn't performing that we said that oh you are messing up the country for us and because that person is not ready to take responsibility of what we are asking him to do we said that okay enough is enough sit down and then let us bring someone who can take responsibility for us understand our need understand our goal understand our vision so he can inspire us now that person come and then that person begin to push blame to the person that we say that you were not growing good for us push a responsibility to that person so if you have a leader who do not take responsibility the country will never develop that is why africa is not developing that is why africa we can't come together as one that is why africa we are struggling most especially my country ghana nobody is ready to take responsibility no one is ready to take responsibility not even the government so i was watching a video mm, 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 of a young guy look at country that thinks about the people and then look at a country that do not think about the people in in the country i was watching a video and you see to my surprise what surprised me was this a swimmer right uh was was to ensure the safety of the people who were swimming mm? and he was sitting down and then one of the boys jumped into the pool and for some few minutes the boy wasn't able to swim so he was draining out and later he saw the actions and then jumped into the water and then make sure that he saves the boy's life now after review of that action they say that they have to arrest that boy and then jail him for some years because he did not do his job right he did not do his job well because he delayed because at the time that the boy jumped into the pool that he was struggling to swim out he wasn't watching there so now we are jailing you let's come to my country ghana an mp says that this kiosk or this shop where it is that is not where it's supposed to be or this shop you do not belong to my party so no 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 in fact let me send bulldozer to go and then destroy that shop and you see the people went the person was in the shop selling and then they started bringing the whole thing down they started bringing the whole thing down and they brought everything down this thing that i'm telling you happened at east Lagoon here they brought the whole shop down destroy everything that is in the shop destroy every single thing all because i'm in power i have the power i'm in power i'm a leader i can do anything that i like why other countries are accounting for every single thing that they do anything that you do you account for it and they make sure that they do the right thing so you see some of the this thing that you hear in africa you're not here in that country because the system is working 
they understand that leadership is the ability to inspire influence and guide individuals team toward common goal and vision but that is not what we see in our country called ghana it's the opposite side let me add one when you say vision what is vision vision is to have a clear understanding of what needs and to be achieved vision this is the meaning of vision when we say vision vision is to have is having a clear understanding of what needs to be achieved do our leaders understand the vision of Ghanaians or it is about the politics politics so i will starve you for eight years and i will wake up one month and then decide to do everything for you and decide to do a temperate thing for you my dear when we do not allow our leaders to account for everything that they will do they will mess up the country for us in fact by the time we we realize eh, we have been sold so my dear listening to me my dear watching me it is time for we as a youth to wake up and then let the people that we put them there to lead us to account for every single thing every single action that they have taken from day one up to date when we don't put our leaders to accountability our country is going to sink when we don't put our people to accountability our nation is going to sink more than what we are seeing today everything is going up everything is being is 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 is, is, is going down all just because what i have power there is no control of everything now when, when when i look at the prices of certain things i get sad within a short time and this this is you see the raw materials that they used to do all those things are from this place but they are so expensive why is it so when someone lead you that the person is not called to be a leader that the person say that i will not account for anything i will not account for because the constitution eh give me the mandate to do everything but not to account that is what happened the constitution mm, that govern us seo i can do everything but if you can question me that will be the next 10 years that will be the next 10 years and ask yourself look at the person's age the next 10 years where would that person be that person will be old enough that person will be so old that he can't even walk so you can't even you 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 don't want to drag an old person to court to question some few things maybe by then the person is dead how can you question the dead person so we do not account for anything so we do anything that we like and then we leave the country just like that and then go until we put some people into action we are going to be in a mess a job that would take like oh six months we will use three years because of politics not politics oh politics a job that would take like two months we will use five years because of politics we say government is a continuous project so why is it that this this party come do a b and c then another person come sell the previous one and then start a new one they are playing with our mind until the youth will arise i tell you we the youth we have the antidote to the nonsense that they are doing until we inject them until we inject them with common sense they will continue to mess up things for us